What's up guys, Hyphy Edits here, bringing you guys another tutorial that has to do with After Effects CS6. My last tutorial got quite a bit of views, and a lot of people were commenting, saying they liked it, and they wanted some different tutorials having to do with it, because I know it's a new uh, software, so a lot of people are trying to figure out new effects. This isn't a new effect, but I haven't seen a lot of people use it, so I'd like to show you guys how to use it. I use this in my dubstep OCE, which um, I liked. I think it flowed pretty well. Uh, maybe not to some people, but right here, as you can see, um, and then it goes so it just goes out. And if you have a picture in the background, it looks really nice too. So if you have like a clan logo, you can just put it in the background really easy. So uh, yeah, a lot of people were liking it. So here's how to use it. Uh, you're gonna no, more most people like to use it in the kill cam, or at least I'd like to use it in the kill cam. So I'm just gonna. One sec. All right, well, I don't know why it's doing that, but anyway. Uh, so the the effect is called warp. It's there's different types that you can use, but I just like to use warp. So I'm gonna drag this onto here. Actually, I'm gonna twixter after the kill cam real fast. One sec. Find where it is. Right, I'm just gonna twixter right there. And it's 59 frames per second, so it helps really a lot. Sorry, guys, I should have done this sooner, but anyway. So. Make that ugly. Okay, so we got that part right there. All right, so wherever you want to start it, just get rid of that or put the down arrow, and you're gonna type in warp. And just like most of them, you're just gonna it's basically just keyframing. But when it comes to this, you're going to go to inflate. Uh, you're gonna click on warp style and go down to inflate. There's different ones you can try. I mean, I prefer you guys to try different ones. Uh, a lot of them look really nice. So, anyway, you're gonna make the bend to zero. Whoops, I put a no, but anyway. All right, so you're gonna keyframe that um, just to where you want it to start, and then I go right before you see the muzzle flash. So let me play it through. Alright. Probably need to zoom in a little bit. Alright. So right about there, as you see the next frame is a the muzzle flash, so and then I'm just gonna go to where I think uh you normally yeah, you go into the negatives. I normally go all the way down to a hundred. Um, and then next frame, you can make it whatever you'd like. You can go all the way back up to like 90 if you want. Which I went back to zero, but you can just do different things. Like I said, try different things, and you can come up with uh, different effects. So if you play it through, oops, let me ram preview this real fast. Okay, so here we go. It'll play through right about now. So as you see, it looks pretty nice. Uh, as you you guys would probably add um, sound effects to make it even nicer. So also, and then if you guys want a picture in the background, so say you want like a like a naked chick in the background. Here, I'll import a clip. I'll just put my uh, let's see. I'll just put like this one in the background. All right, so you can just drag it into the back, and then you'll it'll probably you probably couldn't see it, 
Wait, hey, whoops. Control Z again. And then just drag it to where you'd like it. Like I said, it's basically preferences on your part, so. So, as you can see, you can see the picture as it goes back. And so it looks like that. So, yeah, that's about it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and comment and subscribe like you guys did on my last tutorials. I hope you guys appreciate this as much as uh, I like enjoy or I enjoy making these tutorials. So, yeah, that's about it for me today. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.